During one of my streams a while ago, someone asked me if I could get Riley Reed to come on the podcast, you know, to talk about wieners, vaginas, pussies, and RuneScape, just the normal type of porn talk on the podcast. And I responded saying, I don't think Riley Reed would ever want to do that because she doesn't like me personally. And that led to me telling the story of the beef between Riley Reed and myself. Beef being the wrong word, but for lack of a better term, the bad blood between us. Although this was a while ago, so I'm sure she probably doesn't remember or just doesn't care anymore. But now, ever since I told that story on a stream, people are constantly asking me during streams to tell the story again. And it's kind of cute, kind of like, you know, a kid asking their grandfather who fought in Vietnam to tell him war stories that they've heard a million times from him. Except in my case, the only war I fought was on the shores of Riley Reed's butthole. So I figured I'd make a dedicated dedi a video dedicated to telling the story. So it all started when I made a video about Riley Reed's abominable rap, which remains today one of the worst raps I've ever heard. Now there's definitely a lot worse raps on YouTube from small channels with like 30 views, maybe from like old pop hickey yokels, barnyard rap ballad about cunnilingus on his animals and making love to his sister, or maybe a chemistry professor's educational rap that's just fucking horrible. But those aren't fully produced raps, those are all very amateur attempts at it, so I don't really count those as actual raps. Riley Reed had a team behind her and fully produced, so it was a genuine attempt at it, and it was fucking horrible, the worst I'd heard in that department. So I stand by that, I stand by that analysis. On the moist meter, that'd be a 5%. Now when I published the video, I was made aware she wasn't too happy with my critique of her, her song here. And I, I can understand why, because it's clear she put a lot of heart and soul in that. There was inspired lyrics in there, such as, Spit stringing from my mouth, let you fuck my face, good nutritious nut. And who could forget when she really takes it home with, Jerk it out, jerk it out, jerk it out, beat it out, beat it out, beat it out, jerk it out, jerk it out, beat it out, jerk it out. So I can understand when I insulted her magnum opus of music, that she wasn't too happy with that. And that's when it really started, when I made that video. So didn't, she didn't like that I made that, she didn't like me, and then about two or three months after that, I went on her Twitter page just browsing and perusing, learning more than anything. Well, honestly, I was just looking for titties, for lack of a better cover story. I went through a lot of different porn stars pages just to see what productions they were taking part in, really. But while on Riley Reads, I noticed she had retweeted some fan art. And let me tell you what, that fan art, bingo, bango, bongo, that's the epitome of fan art right there. What it was... It was a crayon drawing of Riley Reed spreading her ass cheeks apart and just having her brown balloon nut winking at the camera. It was fucking beautiful. And I, I saw this and I made a tweet about it. It was a very vague tweet. I didn't say what porn star. All I said was, haha, I just saw, you know, porn star's fan art with her gaping asshole in crayon. It was great. And then I guess people found it and told the artist that I said that. And then the artist called me an asshole, and it just, then Riley Reed retweeted that saying, I'm an asshole, so then they were just double teaming me. And, you know, it all stemmed because, I mean, come on, it's a crayon drawing of a porn star's asshole. How's that not entertaining? I don't want to show the, the fan art, but instead I took it upon myself to try and doodle it my, myself. I did two attempts here, neither one of them really capture it. This was my first attempt. It doesn't really convey what it looked like. This looks more like a God of War enemy. So then I tried again. And this one just kind of looks like a Wallace and Gromit character doing some naughty shit. This isn't what the fan art looked like. It definitely looked a lot better than this. And I went on the artist's page and she's talented. But this this particular piece, I, I had a giggle about. You know, come on. You, you got a porn star spreading her fucking chocolate starfish and you're doing it in crayon. That's great. That's gonna That's gonna put a smile on anyone's face. And to be totally honest, as far as crayon drawings of porn stars spreading their fudge cutters go, this is probably the best it can ever get. It was really well done. I could see where the asshole was, I could see the butthole clearly, there was even some labia draping down like some beef curtains, and the pose was really well conveyed, like you could see the stretching of the ass cheeks pulling it apart and seeing what's between them. It was really well done, they had a side by side so you could see what the pose was not in crayon, and then in crayon really well translated. But I honestly don't know why they both got so offended about me making it a joke. I thought the piece was done lightheartedly as just kind of like, hey, look at this little doodle I did. You remember when you did that photo shoot where you spread your butthole wide? Well, here it is in crayon. 
Oh, uh-huh, that's cool. Retweet. I didn't know it was going to be a hill you want to die on defending it as some type of artistic masterpiece or anything. Like if someone out there wanted to make a fan art of me with my legs over my head and soft dick slapping me in the face and they did it out of Sharpie or Legos or pipe cleaner or something, I'd be like, haha, that's entertaining, that's cool. And then if people start turning into a joke, you know, I, I don't think they'd turn to me and be like, defend this. I'd be like, well, at the end of the day, that's my soft cock slapping, my, slapping me in my face out of, out of some goofy material, you know what I mean? That's probably worth making a joke out of. But, you know, anyway... That's why Riley Reed doesn't like me and probably will never come on the podcast. If I'm wrong, Riley, and you do want to come on the podcast, just go ahead and reach out to me on Twitter. But yep, there's the story, and that's it. See ya.